One of the biggest technical barriers of building this railway comes from the land beneath it because it stretches more than 1,000 kilometers through the mountainous Yungui Plateau and Lantown River fault zone. And much of this region is of what's called the cars to land form. And nearly 70% of the line either digs through high rise mountains or stand above wide and deep valleys. So some of these tunnels, for example, the 17 and a half kilometers long ending railway tunnel had to penetrate 20 fault layers, two major syncline structures, and overcome hazardous gas, corrosive soil, and unstable underground water along its way. You don't have to be an expert to imagine just how hard all that is. In another notable piece of infrastructure, the 832 meter long Yuanjiang Railway Bridge is the longest of its kind in the world. It stands as high as the 54-story skyscraper above the valley's lowest point, making it an engineering nightmare. But there it stands, impeccably delivered by those amazing engineers. Donnie. Amazing indeed. And another quite big challenge that the, the engineers have to uh, deal with is the environmental protection issue. Uh, the Yunnan province is home to more than a dozen national level natural reserves and uh, Laos also has amazing biodiversity that Absolutely. needs protection as well. So the construction uh, of such a massive project would inevitably impact local wildlife. Are there any measures in place to minimize that kind of impact? Well, indeed, you bet that these engineers behind the projects have made sure the conservation of the region's ecosystem remain the project's the top priority, even before the construction broke ground. And part of the line inside China's Yunnan province actually neighbors the natural habitats of wild Asian elephants. So instead of laying all the tracks on the ground level, which is a lot easier and cheaper, the engineers went out of their way to put up as many overpassing bridges as possible to avoid intersection with those elephants' migration routes. And workers have also built a 30 kilometers long fence along the part of the route to ensure minimum disturbance to the wildlife. And it's not just wildlife that was considered. Construction of the railway also strived to minimize its impact on the residential areas along the way. There is very strict noise and dust control as well as a sewage disposal policy at all construction sites. So in other words, there are a lot of extra efforts surrounding construction, and all of them share this one goal, maximizing eco-preservation throughout the process of the construction. As completion will mark the major milestone in railway network in this region, and it will make the traveling between the two countries a lot more easier than ever.